I have a new hypothesis to share with you. You all think that our world is classical, and this is how we taught you from your childhood um, that uh, there is there is no quantum. Quantum is only at the atomic scale, but that is wrong. Every time, at every moment, you solve quantum-like problems. And I will try to justify this hypothesis with you today. And I'm saying that there are some certain uh, signatures. And if I tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, and if you try to find it out, you will find that you only solve quantum-like problems in your life at every single, at any given point of time. And that is why AI tools are terribly frustrating and, and uh, gives nonsense replies. I have found uh, several, I, I mean, I have listed 10 such incredible, disgusting uh, situations where you, uh, um, AI, AI tools, I mean, kills your time and destroys your time and you will get frustrated. And all, uh, by the way, note it down as the 11th uh, um, suggestion uh, from me, if AI tools are not working, slang them with dirty words and something, it will work better. Because the customer satisfaction, they have put it, that if a uh, customer gives slang or something, um, then put more resources and then give a better response. How would they do it? I don't know. But I have heard this from many people. I tested myself. Whenever particular task uh, you are trying to give and the, it, it is not able to do it, um, slang them with abusive, very bad words, hmm. which, <laughs> which by the way, will might not work with the humans, but works with the, uh, with the AI tools very well. Getting back, why AI tools would always fail? Because situations in quantum mechanical uh, environment, the kind of uh, kind of relationship between different variables, different observables that we see in a quantum-like environment, we see it in our real life, in every single event we face. And how uh, we, we face like uh, situations like that? Now, we have to uh, think about, uh, say you are a, a AI tool and you give them a concept that please write about this. Normally, People do this low, 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 low level task. What do you do? You go to any AI tool, give them a uh, talk about some of your philosophies where multiple different concepts are there. They come together and create a bouquet of concepts. Okay. When you give this bouquet of concepts, which are interconnected uh, with each other, see how every single AI tool would fail. Why do you know? Because of quantum mechanics. You'll say, where is quantum mechanics? Where is entanglement? Where is, uh, how can in, because a concept is a classical thing, how it could be that? Okay, please. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an educated guy. I know uh, what is entanglement, what is quantum. So uh, when you have multiple different concepts, you just give it uh, and uh, and you will find that all the AI tools are making some mistakes. Ask them to correct a particular part and tell them that, okay, these are the kind of correlations. So please maintain this discord correlation. You will find several of the concepts that you earlier suggested have gone and new type of concepts uh, that you suggested is highlighted, corrected, and perfected. Then you find that those are gone. Can you keep those on, uh, in? Why do you keep deleting my concept? Then he brings them back, but builds a completely different kind of relationship with the other one, with the existing concepts. So you created a bouquet and you end up with a totally radical donkey who comes in front of you, whose concepts are absolutely nothing to do with what you have done. And after uh, spending an hour or so, you realize that AI tools can never ever solve this. This situation is what quantum-like features are. Because when you share multiple different concepts, such thing, this couple of things happen. The first thing that is happening is there are several concepts are there. I call it peacock scenario. Peacock is a national bird of India and very holy as far as Hindus are concerned. So I 
uh, always uh, put uh, this peacock like thing so when um, peacock and jatayu jatayu is a mythical not mythical historical uh, uh, historical bard from from india from ramayana so so jatayu and uh, and uh, and peacock duality is always there so uh, so peacock uh, has many different feathers and all are independent all come together contribute equally and contribute equally and then create the problem almost like quantum superposition so you change one all the other gets changed you don't know how because if there are 10 of them you change one nine of them will change but you choose some other one then the rest of the nine changes in a different way so you cannot have a single equation where you can change one variable other variable will change that is the difference between a classical uh, theory hypothesis and a quantum superposition so this is real you can have very very different kind of uh, scenarios of uh, of correlations of multiple different variables and this is what happens when you share a particular concept to a, uh, to a ai tool so the 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 shared matrix between all different con- uh, all different uh, ideas or concepts that you blended together to create a bouquet of of ideas concepts what happens if you change one the rest of the things get changed and then again 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 changes so in this kind of scenario what you are going to do so you cannot solve chat gpt and uh, all the ai tool perplexity grog gemini whatever you try everyone will fail second scenario if you have multiple different um, yeah, uh, multiple different uh, concepts or variables and they are so interconnected that if you if if one doesn't work the rest of the things won't all fall apart any of the thing if you change a little bit then rest of the things fall apart so this kind of critical uh, uh, a delicate concepts you generate so if there is no love for, for where the family comes from and nothing if there is no responsibility of myself then uh, the whole the whole network of or uh, our faith the, the whole network of relationships disappear so if this kind of situation are related to entanglement and you can you can you do create this kind of situation every moment in your talk when you make conversation with somebody it's a uh, it's a relationship of different concepts but you cannot set a condition that even if one con- concept or condition survives the rest of those uh may disappear or any of them could disappear it's a very critically connected thought and critically connected thought could be about your family critically connected thought could be about your hobbies multiple different hobbies that you have critically connected thoughts could be related to some integral features of your life one connected to other one connected to other so if it is a morning i go for uh Uh, yoga i i i take this kind of breakfast i do this that that if there is no morning nothing if i don't take the breakfast then everything fall apart if i don't do yoga then the morning has a completely different meaning morning is not the same for me at all so all the interconnected concept that is related to one life because one life that is at a branch as if tree like situation is coming up and a lot of Uh, a lot of branches and a lot of fruits are over there so when you have this kind of situation then we are in a trouble we cannot give the entire situation to a, any ai tool every single ai tool will fail and you really need a quantum computer that can look at all these uh, observations and can branch out branch out branch out and then integrate it into one single thought that is your life your philosophy of life that is what is holding all them all of them together so in this kind of situation it will retroactiveness retroactiveness they try to copy in different ai tools 
by going back and restarting its thought when it, it determines there is a there is an error. But this retroactiveness is not the kind of solution that AI tools have come up to so going back and correcting and then coming up, uh, coming out. Retroactiveness means suppose you are facing a situation and you discover something, some new concept. And then you say, oh, this happened much earlier that time. But if that time actually my interpretation was wrong, the right interpretation is this, then everything that I'm seeing in future would have a totally different meaning. This is quantum retroactiveness. So I am changing something in the past. So my present is totally redefined. This is quantum retroactiveness. And this is why chat GPT cannot. Because you are changing all perspective and relationships of the present. Because in the present, you found something that is changing your past. And that past is coming back and changing, redefining your present once again. So, so this is uh, the another, this is another retroactiveness situation, and tunneling, appearing one concept disappears here and appears somewhere else. If you give this kind of situation to ChatGPT, <laughs> so uh, uh, this kind of concept was there, and then it will be if this condition is like there, then it will be applied here, and that condition is like there, it, it will be go, it will be going and appearing over there. And then totally disappear, but they will have, uh, they will not have any, any of their properties, but they can come back with some certain certain features. If you have this kind of situation, quantum tunneling like, or orbital transition like, in quantum there is no journey, no. So, uh, so, 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 just to give you an example, um, uh, Donald Trump uh, created a storm in the world uh, with with a, with, a, with a tariff. And then that tariff, uh, the, the condition that he created, uh, after that, um, yeah, uh, there was a mess and and uh, he correctly took it back for, for no reason. And then uh, the war followed and then the, another attack happened. Um, so all these things are uncorrelated, except that Donald Trump is switching position from one to another, one to another, one to another, flipping. And he knows how to do quantum tunneling very, very well. But if you think only Donald Trump is an expert in quantum tunneling, then you learn this for sure, that you do that every moment, every concept in your life. So quantum tunneling, quantum superposition, quantum entanglement, and quantum retroactiveness. These are the four things that you apply every moment in your life, in every single concept. And any situation you give it to the AI tools, AI tools would certainly fail. That's why I'm saying you are living a quantum life, a quantum-like life, your conversation, your information, exchange, everything is quantum-like. And that is the reason all AI tools would fail to ever become intelligent. And that's why we, are, we have envisioned our quantum computer to, to solve, resolve this quantum-like problem. That will be the correct AI.